Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. Robbie, we're going someplace we've never gone before. Are we going to... Hmm, I was trying to think of something clever. Not the metaverse. <laughs> I don't have anything. All right, Robbie's got nothing. This this never happens. Robbie, are you on your medication? Because uh, normally you're like, bam. I know. You know what it is? You've been thrown off. You're um, out of your equilibrium. The world is changing. Things that you never thought would happen are happening. Mm. You normally can't stump Robbie. Today we can because Altra has dropped a shoe that has Drop, drop, There's the droppings. shoe that has dropped. Droppings everywhere. The Ultra Forward Experience. Ultra known for its zero drop running shoes. Always keeping it zero for the heroes. Uh, are there other Cheerios? No, that doesn't rhyme. They haven't changed the games, changed their own games since they've been making shoes for what? How long has it been now? I mean, we're talking since like 2010. Yeah. But the one, I mean, 13 years. The one thing that has changed, they came out with those different fits, the slim fit, the regular fit, and the yeah. Ultra Barney Rubble. Since they've kind of morphed into the new version of Ultra after being bought out a couple times last time by VF Corp. They now have like these silos, which are original fit, the wide toe, wide toe box, and there's the, the foot shape. And then the standard foot shape, which is this shoe. And then the slim foot shape, which is, yeah, more traditional. This one looks like it's shape. a slim foot shape. It does, but it's actually, they say it's the standard. So oh, wow. Okay. I have to believe them. So the deal with this shoe is, yes, yeah, so this has a four millimeter drop, which isn't, crazy significant but it's different the reason why i feel like it is crazy a little bit was that the whole thing that we were sold on ultra was to run natural was the way to avoid getting injuries to do that and to do that you need to have the zero drop the natural way that your foot would strike mm -hmm. in a shell that fits a foot shape and that's the whole premise so to go well, well, wait a second we're we never said the drop was bad, and now we're adding drop. It's kind of like crazy. I'm not gonna say it's disingenuous, but it is deviating from the core, the core thing of Ultra, which is a zero drop shoe. I mean, I think Ultra loyalists are gonna lose their mind about this. You yeah, know who is. you are, by the way. You're watching this video already hating it. So let's get into it. This is, again, a four millimeter drop shoe. Does that make a difference? What's different about this shoe than other Ultra shoes? Uh, let's start with the upper, might as well, right? Yeah, I gotta give kudos off the bat. It's a pretty upper. They did a nice job this with is the probably, This is probably the best looking Ultra shoe I think I've seen. I like the clean look of this thing. So, so. clean. I like how they, they move the logo back here a little smaller. Gives you a nice look. There's like kind of this hint at like a weave or something. Engineer mesh upper. I do think Ultra has some of the most comfortable uppers in all the shoe industry. I really do love the way they fit mm. in pretty much almost all their shoes. Is that the foot shape or is it the actual material? Uh, it might be a little bit of the foot shape. I, I love the Torin. I felt like the Torin plush was just like a crazy comfortable shoe and I feel like this is the same I think it's a good good fit a little bit low back here you can see there's not much uh and, and they put those heel pillows in there just to try to keep you locked in there which I think works very comfortable on the run no issues there and notice the tongue is not gusseted yeah I didn't have any sliding problems on I mean you you got the little lace tab right here that kind of keeps it in place so whatever. this is crazy because it feels like a comfy tongue this is a nice Gently padded yeah, it's nice. tongue. It's not huge. It's not overly thick. Mm -hmm. It just looks like a nice clean upper. Do you think that this also would appeal to people that are not necessarily running in the shoe that might want just a nice walking shoe that has a little bit of a rock? Yeah, walkers, anyone else who just wants a comfortable good looking shoe, I think, yeah, it would be great. Um, it feels like a typical foam. It, it's a very typical foam. It's a very standard foam. In fact, um, yeah, moving on to the midsole, which is that four millimeter drop, 32 millimeters in the heel, 28 in the forefoot for men's version. Women's is actually lower at 28 in the heel, 24 in the forefoot. Why did they change the stack I for women, do you think? I don't know. I just noticed it now and I yeah, have not had time to ask, but. We'll be calling later. Yeah, we'll get answers for you. <laughs> Anyways, so moving on to the midsole. It's not their ego midsole, which is kind of their bread and butter. What is the, it? Or the ego max. It's just a uh, compression, EVA? compression mold of EVA. You're moving forward with drop. 
but moving backwards with cushioning. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't really get it. And there's a rocker. I mean, just looking at, it, I'd want, I can see why they're calling it rockered. I'd want the rocker to start like closer to the front of the heel, not not back here. It looks like it gets extreme right here. If it was to start like back where my finger is now, Robbie. Yeah. I think then you would really well, no, notice that. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like the there should be, feel. I feel like it should be. Even close, like behind the palm here? Yeah, more with the toe, like have something going on right here, but. Did you notice it while you were no, running? No, I didn't notice it at all. So that's what, why I'm bringing it up. So this shoe is supposed to be a lightweight, a very lightweight trainer, which it's pretty light. It's 8.5 ounces, 240 grams. For like, what size? For size nine. Okay. So that's like, it's in that Clifton range, I believe. Like okay. it's pretty similar to the same weight as the Clifton. It's like a lighter daily trainer. I would think this is designed to go up against the Clifton. Yeah, you would think it would be that same comfort. It's not. On the first step, it feels very comfortable. I think that's partly because okay. of the insole. On the run, it just feels flat. A lot of times we can tell within the first mile how she's gonna be. The only time I would put a caveat to that is we go out and you feel, it feels great the first six miles or so, and then the foam dampens down. But with an EVA like this, did you kind of like go out the door and know what you were gonna get from there on out? Yeah, and it, I ran in this more than, I think most, I think I did like four, five runs in this in the six mile range, so like, which is, you know, Making me do math. Yeah, 35, like 30 miles. I kept wanting to like it, and I, I didn't find it, like miserable to run in it. It just felt like it was a very average shoe. And not using the Ego Foam just seems like an interesting move. You mm -hmm. like the upper, you like the fit. Mm -hmm. It fits true to size. Mm -hmm. You didn't have any heel lift. Mm -hmm. We get down to the midsole, you're getting a very standard midsole that no wow, no anything, just whatever. How are we doing on the outsole rubber? It's not the Max Track rubber that they're known for. That's like the really good stuff. So it's not that super dur durable and grippy rubber. Our other reviewer, Sam, who ran the shoe, said he ran in the rain and like on wet surfaces, said it wasn't so great on those. I'd have to say for 30 miles, this is pretty aggressively shaved here, Robbie. I just don't understand for how big of a deal that this shoe is that this is the shoe. And what was it missing? What would you have wanted this to be? Like if you could have said, hey, I'm gonna help Altra, you're gonna do your first drop yeah. shoe, what's it gonna have? Yeah, maybe a more, just something a more exciting phone than just the traditional EVA yeah. that's not, not that exciting. I mean, I think the upper again was well done. Definitely make the, if you're gonna put a rocker in there, make it more aggressive. I'll go into a little bit, like get my soapbox out and preach about drop and stuff. I don't care if the shoe is four millimeter drops, 10 millimeter drop, it all depends on how the shoe interacts with my stride against the ground. And you can have a 10 millimeter drop where it feels like you're throwing on the brakes because of where that drop is, the way my foot lands, it just skids along. Then you can have a 10 millimeter drop, especially if it's a rocker or something like that, where I don't even notice it, it just rolls through my, my stride and it feels great. Mm -hmm. And the advantage of a drop is, I usually get a lean forward feeling, I get a little faster turnover feeling in my stride. So when you come down and choose like the four millimeter drop, like the Clifton, you still usually can feel, because the rocker is a little exaggerated, you feel that forward propulsion right. without having the drop. I was excited when you got this shoe that, hey, maybe there's gonna be an Altra with a shoe that, because a zero drop to me can tend to feel a little slappy. Yeah, I think I was just hoping for more. And like I said, I I do I did like the lightweight nature of the shoe. I felt like on the run, it, was, it felt pretty effortless in that way. It didn't feel like clunky or anything like that. It just felt I'm just not not that exciting to be honest. So I will say the design, the colors that we're seeing that are going to come out throughout the year, they did a great looking shoe. Um, yeah, may, maybe Robbie's right. Maybe just needs a new foam. And supposedly they have some exciting stuff coming in 2024. So we'll see for a traditional shoe that's a lifestyle shoe. It is comfortable for walking around and people like that. Now I will say one of our other reviewers who is an ultra fan, he loved this shoe and he loved it. So I'm like, you know what, to each his own. If you are an ultra fan, perhaps you will love this shoe. If you like a firmer ride. Well, that's great. You get to read the whole review. Yeah. And you get Robbie's opinion, Sam Edgen's opinion. And uh, you're talking about Austin Bonds, yeah. who's enjoyed it. So you're gonna get three people's opinion on this shoe. Personally, I think for how big this shoe is, for how big of a deal it is at four millimeter drop, I just wasn't impressed with it, so I have to give it a red. But at the same time, it wasn't bad, bad to run in. It was just 
not, it just like isn't super exciting. So I don't know if that's a yellow or still a red. I guess, I mean, like, we can, we can switch it to yellow. And I know what you mean, Robbie. These are the toughest shoes for us to review. When the shoe just isn't horrible, yeah. and it's not great, if it's just in that like gray zone of like, yeah, you can run in it. The thing I did like about it was that, it, yeah, it's a little firmer, but it doesn't feel like dead. You know, it's not like you're, it doesn't feel dead. It just feels dense in a way but it is light enough that you can pick it up if you need to. So it's a little, has some versatility in that way. I get what Robbie's talking about. These are tough shoes for us to review when they fall in the gray zone. I don't hate ultras. I like, I, like I said, I love the fit of them and I there's some models that I really love running in. So it's not, what, I'm, what I'm you, not an ultra hater. What did Scott, Scott Jarek just post about ultras? But no, the reverse drop shoe. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't get it. Anyway, all right. So hopefully you learned something today. Probably not. Maybe what you wanted to hear if you're looking to jump in this shoe. But go ahead, if you could, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Best way to keep in touch with us and all the things that we do is subscribe to our email. Robbie, how do they do that? Um, just hit any of the links in the description. It's all there. All right. Peace. All right. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And Robbie, we're going someplace we've never gone before. Wow, well, do that over. Uh, All right. I can never say believe right. All right. Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. And this is Robbie with Believe in the Run. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now I'm messing up all the... All right, one more time.